<coughs> hey guys, it's Friday. <coughs> it's Friday and I'm dying. Um, so a little part of uh, the Avengers Endgame. This book, it really has nothing to do with Endgame. But there is a situation that develops in this book that is <coughs> in Endgame. Uh, Captain America, they have that huge battle, and Cap gets into a ferocious battle, and um, he wields Thor's hammer. And in this book here, it shows Cap wielding Thor's hammer. And basically what Thor has come back from space, and he has landed on the Avengers Hydro um, a barge, a plant, a uh, hydro, like, uh, I don't even know, island, I guess. And um, the new Avengers are there. Captain America is now the captain. And uh, this book was, what, 1988? Yeah, April of 1988. And he's disillusioned with the American government. And he's talking to Thor about it. And they had just finished uh, fighting in Avengers 290. They just finished fighting the Super Adaptoid, which was in Avengers 290. So the Avengers go off to their separate ways after this battle, and they leave Cap and Thor behind. And uh, right now, this is an Asgard, and they're being attacked by the Egyptian god of death, Set. And he's doing hit-and-run attacks on Asgard. So, Thor's away. They don't know where Thor is. Thor's been out in space. He came back to Earth. And now, the Set's recon teams find Thor on Earth. So, he sends Grog to go kill Thor. So Thor and Cap are talking, you know, somehow some Tony did something that um, betrayed Cap's friendship. Uh, he asked him, uh, was it, I recently contacted Tony and asked him for a favor. I needed a new shield to replace the one the government had taken from me. He seemed glad to help, but that was only because as Iron Man, he was planning to attack a secret government installation and I didn't want and didn't want me to interfere. As a friend, I asked him not to do it. But that didn't stop him. So I am sure Tony had his reasons for what he did. And it's in Iron Man 228. But he betrayed our friendship. I no longer trust him or wish to be in his debt. I am going to borrow an Avengers Quinjet and fly to the West Coast so that I can return this shield to him. So Thor starts, you know, debating on why he's even there. And then a rift opens up. And out comes Grog's army. So they start battling Thor. And as they fight Thor, Cap gets into the mix and they start fighting. The Black Knight was still on the island. And he helps in the fight against Set's troops. <clears throat> and here's a nice pick of, of Cap and Thor fighting off the uh, the army. And here, the, the guard crusher smashes into Thor and Thor loses his hammer. Now he goes, he goes, something is wrong. I can't seem to lift this cursed thing. And Thor says, fool, only those who are worthy as Thor himself may possess my enchanted mallet. And then he says, it's no matter. I have other far deadlier weapons at my hand, like this power lance. Hold him down, my faithful legions. A few more blasts will finish him off. Cap sees what's going on and says, that scream. I've never heard that cry out before. He must be in incredible agony. He needs his hammer. Somehow I've got to find a way to move it, to get it to him. But how? If a big bruiser like Grog couldn't do it, what chance will I have? Still, I've got to try. But then even as the Valiant Avenger reaches for the hammer, death to the mortal, 
So he's attacked by a bunch of uh, Grog's troops there. He's underneath the mass of troops here, and they said, he can't hold him. This cannot be. He is only one while we are many. And then, there it is. Everything everybody's talking about. Cap wields Thor's hammer. I've got a flash for you, mister. There's plenty one man can do if he's the right man. This is almost unbelievable. Somehow I'm able to lift Thor's hammer while other, others far stronger than I couldn't even budget. I've never wielded so much limitless power before. It's almost intoxicating, but this hammer rightfully belongs to Thor, and we, he needs it a lot more than I do. <clears throat> Heads up, Avenger. I've got a special delivery winging its way towards you. And he throws his hammer. Thor gets it, and they basically defeat Grog's army, and they disappear. They take off. And here we have Thor and Cap holding the hand. And he says, A sacred bond unites all those who have ever been privileged to wield Melginor. A bond which stretches far into infinity. I salute you, Captain. I hope I'll always be worthy of that honor and privilege, my friend. And that's it, guys. So somewhere, somewhere in the movie, Endgame, You'll see a great battle with Captain America fighting Thanos, and it's awesome. This book is going up in value. It really has nothing to do with uh, Endgame, but it's just a cool book. And uh, I'm on the search for other books where Cap wields Thor's hammer. All right, guys, that's it for now. You take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and have fun. Ciao.